myself because it's like it's, it's a fire that's inside me. I Amen. have to, I have to let it come out. Come I have to uh, brag. Paul said, "I boast in the Lord." Yes. So I can't wait. You know, and I'm learning at Bible college that when you testify, it's not just we're just talking. We're, we're prophetically saying, if God can do something in my life, He can do it in yours. Amen. In yeah. Amen. So uh, God has begun to reconstruct my life. Um, I was saved at eight years old. Just quick rundown. Filled with the Holy Spirit at 19, called to the ministry at 21. And since then, though, my life has not been consistent. And I understand how God has taken things away from me and given them back because of my lack of fault. I've been mean, studying in uh, Chronicles and the Old Testament how God's people would fall for a while and they wouldn't, and they would suffer the consequences of doing Come so. On, say that. My, life has been, my life has been that way. And, uh, but what I wanted to reflect on this morning is that I keep reading all these terms that God's mercy endureth forever. Yes. And each time that the children of Israel would come back to him, he would restore their life and the kingdom and everything would flourish. Just as he's, as he's done in my life. And I've seen that, that parallel in my life uh, happening. And uh, so it's, it's happened time and time again. Uh, you know, the reason he does it is because he loves us so much and just, that, just because he loves me enough. Come on. That he, he has been merciful enough to Amen. love me again, to, to rebuild my life again. And I just have to proclaim his goodness <coughs> and the mercy that he's been shown to my life. Amen. 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 We have another uh, uh, something special today, uh, very special, and it's been a long time uh, coming. Not because not because we were waited on her, but it's because we waited on me. And. Um, but today we are uh, we are pleased to uh, announce that Sister Sandy Noble has become a Sandy. Why don't you and Rick stand up? Sister Sandy uh, been a, grew up in this church, amen, and, and uh, was going to another church, but came back to the house of God uh, uh, just in the last what four years, three or four years, and and she has uh, filled out a membership application and amen. become a member. Amen. Of amen. The part of us, and uh, make sure that you hug her neck or, or shake her hand before you leave. Sandy, why don't you say something for the Lord? Talked about the bloodline, and, that, and I want to, I want to let you know something that the blood 
is a weapon that we use. And I'm so proud. I'm so glad that my mom and my dad taught me as a young boy to plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Over the situations in my life that, that I may have been going through. Over the trials and the troubles. Albeit I, they brought, were all brought on my, uh, by myself. Uh, but, but still I was taught. Plead the blood, son. And as I pleaded the blood that night laying there beside my mom and dad's bed, how the, the peace of God that passes understanding came over me. And I realized then what, uh, I didn't realize then what pleading the blood meant. But as I grow in the faith and knowledge of God, I realized that pleading the blood is a weapon that Christians use, amen, to defeat the enemy and the enemy's schemes and tricks that he plays on your mind. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I want you to go with me uh, a lot of places this morning, but I, my primary place that I want you to turn to is going to be in Ephesians chapter 6. Um, and, and, um, and then also I want you to keep your thumb on Ephesians 6 and turn over just a few books to the book of Revelations chapter 19. Amen? And just hold your thumb in those, both of those places. The Bible tells us over in Ephesians or I'm sorry, over in 2 Corinthians. Don't turn there. Just keep your book, keep it on Ephesians. But the Bible tells us that though we uh, walk in the flesh, we do not wage war according Come to on. the flesh. Yeah. It says, on the contrary, or, uh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, yes. casting down imaginations and every high thing that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and taking captive every thought and making it obedient to Christ. I can preach on that till the cows come home. But what I wanted, to, the, the point or the word that I want to pull out of that scripture is the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. 